Hello guys, GamerGuy here, and welcome to my 2DS impressions video. Today I'll be talking about the 2DS and what it's for, and how they made it, and what the heck it is. What is a 2DS? Well, it's basically a flat plane like a 3DS, only it's in 2D. So you cannot have the 3DS feature, it does not have the 3DS slider, but you can still play 3DS games, kind of like 3DSception there. You can also play DS games too, yay, just like the 3DS, only all in 2D. So it's kind of like uh, the DS. <laughs> I should have just called it that. This thing comes out October 12th of this year, along with Pokemon X and Y, and it targets the younger generation of Nintendo game players and handheld players, like 5-year-olds and 6-year-olds, like they said, uh, Reggie said uh, from Nintendo America on IGN, uh, he said that it should target, um, you know, younger game uh, gamers out there, and that's probably that's probably good marketing for it to come out with Pokemon X and Y because usually younger gamers play Pokemon, even though there's still older there's still an older generation of, of people playing Pokemon. Um, mostly they are younger um, younger generations playing Pokemon too. So more younger generations playing Pokemon, so that's why it's coming out with Pokemon on, on October twelfth, and it will come out for one hundred and thirty dollars. It should be less because it's only two D and um, it's not 3D like the 3DS. So basically, imagine a flat plane like a 3DS. Uh, not 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 the 3DS. <laughs> imagine a flat plane. Um, kind of buttons. Uh, the buttons are kind of set up like the 3DS, but it's in 2D. So it's kind of, it's like a flat plane. So yeah. Um, like I said, it cannot fold. It does not have the clamshell design like the 3DS and the DS did. Um, it just has a flat type thing. So I I feel like they're they're like coming up with a kind of a flat type thing. Um, and, and uh, why it's why is it like generated for younger uh, gamers out there? Just like it's 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 set up for younger gamers. I mean, it does not fold. You don't have the three D uh, to like uh, risk the health of the gamer. It's basically three D S Junior. You could probably say you you could actually make a good argument that it's it's the younger person's version of a three D S. So. Um, uh, what Reggie said is, you know, seven years and older have their 3DS, and uh, six years and younger have their just 2DS, and it, it like it, it solves all the health problems, and no one ever reads that instruction manual, so it really solves all the problems with the health and seizures, safety, and all that uh, 3D jazz. Now, if you were seven and older, and you are thinking about getting a 2DS, don't, because it's made for the younger generation. They're probably not going to make a capture card for it. It's really pointless to get if you're an older gamer, um, unless you're just that rich and bored to get one. Uh, it's really pointless. It's it's just pointless. It's it's basically 3ds Junior. I mean, really, no older gamer wants that. So so, yeah, I would not get it. Uh, a lot of the great games on 3ds have uh, have uh, the the 3d the 3d is great. Uh, here's uh, the, what's that game called? Um, 3D, uh, Mario 3D Land, uh, that one's really good for 3D, uh, Kid Icarus Uprising, that's really good 3D, uh, cutscenes on Kid Icarus are just amazing because of the 3D, and if you ever look at those cutscenes on 3D, they're just astounding, and the graphics are just too great to risk, uh, for the 2DS, so, basically, making the 2DS really just solves all the health hazards. Once I heard about this, I got pretty mad because, uh, a lot of older gamers were like, I'm gonna get this, and like, no, it's it's made for the younger generation, which I can understand, because no one ever reads that health guide and all that stuff, so, no one ever reads it, I mean, it, it no one ever reads it, it just, that's why they're making it, so, yeah, but the 3DS is still available for $170, and the 3DS XL is still available for around $200 new, so, yep, and the, um, here's a little fun fact, uh, the 2DS will come in red and blue models, and it will be sold alongside the 3DS model, of course, and it will include a 4GB SD card that uses the same power source as the DSi and the 3DS, so it will also include two cameras on the back side, just like the uh, 3DS. The AR games are still functional and players can still take 3D photos, they simply cannot be displayed in 3D on the 2DS's uh, video. So you have to send them over to your 3DS to get them uh, available in 3D mode, which I think is pointless. But 2DS only includes one speaker, which plays mono sound, but features a full stereo via its headphone jack. So that's that's kind of a change in sound. Uh, I'm a video game music enthusiast, so that probably would matter to me if um, 
you know, if stereo and mono are pretty different, so, yeah. But that's basically, yeah, I mean, it's a 3DS uh, flat. It's a flat 3DS. Or a 3DS Junior, so. That's why I think about it. Will it be a sale or no sale? I think it won't be a sale, because they're, they're, uh, they're going to a, a younger age group here, and... Uh, in my opinion, those younger generation gamers are playing console console games more than uh, handheld games. But, you know, it's, it's a pretty good idea. And uh, for it to be sold alongside Pokemon X and Y on, uh, in October will be a good uh, marketing scheme because younger gamers play Pokemon. So, yeah, it's a, good, it's, a good, it's a good marketing scheme. It's just I don't think it will succeed. I think it will end up like the Game Boy Micro, lost in the dust of Nintendo, and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> So thanks guys for watching my impression video on 2DS. Coming up next will be um, my uh, Wii U video. Uh, what Wii U is doing right, what Wii U is doing wrong, and the price uh, drop will happen. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. So thanks guys for watching this 2D impre uh, 2DS impression video. See you later.